Thank you for watching the Florida Council on Compulsive Gambling's Youth Lesson Plan titled, What Are My Chances? Probability in mathematical terms is simply the likelihood of an event happening. It's one of the few mathematical concepts that you will use for the rest of your life. And it's pretty easy to compute. Take a second and write down the following formula. You've likely heard probability used in your daily life. Sometimes it's referred to as odds of something happening or the chances an event will take place. Here is the probability of popular events happening. Picking the ace of spades out of a deck of cards, your chances are about 2%. Getting struck by lightning, one in 960,000. Becoming president of the United States, one in 10 million. Getting a royal flush in poker. River card, queen of diamonds and a royal flush from Mickelson. Way less than 1%. Winning the Powerball, one in 292 million. And being dealt blackjack, about a 5% chance. You'll notice a lot of these odds are gambling related. People who gamble really consider their odds at every time that they wager a bet. It's important to note that in Florida, gambling is illegal for anyone who's under the age of 18, but many gambling devices such as cards, coins, roulette wheels, and other popular games are a useful way to learn about probability. Independent probability is the probability that a single independent event will occur. For example, if you have eight pairs of white socks and one pair of brown socks in your drawer, the probability of reaching in and pulling out a brown pair at random is one in nine. There are nine pairs of socks in the drawer and one of those nine is the desired brown pair. Conditional probability is the probability that event A will occur given that another event B has already occurred. For example, if you were asked to pull the ace of spades out of a deck of cards, the probability of pulling it out on the first try would be independent probability of one in 52. Suppose you pull out the queen of hearts, so you decide to try again, but you do not put the queen of hearts back into the deck. Now the probability of pulling out that ace of spades is one in 51. This is conditional probability. The probability that event A, pulling out the ace of spades will occur, given that another event, B, you have removed one card, in this case the queen of hearts from the deck, has already occurred. Remember, for this lesson you will need to know that there are 52 cards in a standard deck. Of those 52 cards, there are four different suits, each suit containing 13 different cards. You will also need to know that a dice has six different sides, and a coin, of course, has two different sides. Enjoy the lesson.